friends how is everyone doing welcome to lead coding today we are going to solve the problem simplified fractions the problem statement says that we are given an integer n we have to return a list of all simplified fractions from 0 to 1 exclusive such that the denominator is less than or equals to n the fraction can be in any order so we do not have to bother whether we are doing it in increasing order or decreasing order for example we are given n is equals to 3 the possible fractions are 1 by 2 1 by 3 and 2 by 3 when we have 4 the possible fractions are 1 by 2 1 by 3 1 by 4 2 by 3 and 3 by 4 let us trace out how are we getting these fractions so let us say we have n is equals to 6 in this case we can have the denominator starting from 2 we are not considering 1 as the denominator because obviously it will give us the whole number it's not a proper fraction so when we have 2 the numerator could be 1 this is the only possibility then let us say we have 3 in 3 we will have 1 as the numerator 2 as the numerator then the next is 4 in case of 4 we will have 1 by 4 2 by 4 and 3 by 4 then in case of 5 we will have 1 by 5 2 by 5 3 by 5 4 by 5 and finally in case of 6 we will have 1 by 6 2 by 6 3 by 6 4 by 6 and 5 by 6 but here we notice that 2 by 4 is same as 1 by 2 again 3 by 6 is same as 1 by 2 then 2 by 6 is same as 1 by 3 4 by 6 is same as 2 by 3 so there is so much of repetition here we have to avoid these so in order to avoid these what we can see is we have to check whether there is some common factor between the numerator and the denominator so recall which function did we use to check whether there is a common factor between these two so this is gcd greatest common divisor the greatest common divisor of two numbers that is i and j if it is not equals to one if it is not equals to one in those cases we have to avoid including them in our answer rest we see that the gcd for 3 and 4 it is 1 5 and 6 it is 1 1 and 6 it is 1 again 4 and 5 it is 1 so in all the cases where the gcd of the numerator and the denominator is 1 we have to include them in all the other cases we have to exclude them so let us move on to the coding part and see how we can solve this problem we can have a loop this is the first loop i is equals to 1 i is smaller than n i plus plus then a nested loop j is equals to i plus 1 j is smaller than equals to n j plus plus then if the gcd of i comma j is not equals to 1 or we can say if it is equals to 1 then we can proceed with it so we have to actually return a vector of string so let us create that string a is equals to to string i string b is equals to to string j and s dot push back a plus this thing plus b 
I suppose it should give us the right answer. Let us try to run this. Okay. So it is giving us the correct answer. It is basically a nested loop. So the complexity is n square and the GCD function is also there. The complexity of GCD function is log n. So it is basically n square log n and n is given as 100. So it will work perfectly fine when n is equals to 100. It would have worked even if n, is, n was given to be uh, 1000. So this is it for the solution. Thank you. If you like the video, Thank you.